first quarter results of coming out for Deutsche Bank for 2018, and they've forgotten to add a couple of things on trading. It turns out that one of their traders lost $400 million in one single day. So this is a systemically important bank that is in trouble. It's lost money for the last three years. They just laid off 10,000 workers and they are losing $400 million in one day. So you need to pay attention to this. So a lot of these problems are going to come from, from elsewhere. And, you know, and here we are in Germany. Uh, Deutsche Bank accounts for 45% of the GDP because they're so big. They're a financial institution. It's a huge institution. They account 45% of Germany's GDP. So these guys are in trouble. So when you have trouble like this, you're getting tells. We're having we're having some of these things that are showing that uh, they're stressing the, in the in the marketplace, and it's been there for a while. We're just starting to find out about it. So it's probably a lot worse than we're thinking that it is. So if, if you have money in the markets, you really need to start thinking to myself, what am I going to do? If you look at the financial uh, sector, that has really dropped. There's a reason it's dropping, and you need to really pay attention. So here's what I'm going to suggest. Once again, talk to your financial uh, professional. Find out about an exit strategy. At what point do we pull the plug? At what point do we no longer suffer these losses? Because if you're my age, we are not in it for the long run. You know, we don't want to ride this market up and ride it back down. We want to keep our money. So here's what we want to do. We want to take some of that money off the market. Go talk to your financial uh, professional and say, look at, you know, we've done really well in the stock and bond market. Maybe it's time to take profits. You need to start thinking of changing into a different asset class because those are coming to, that cycles are, are coming to an end. And we're pretty sure that the, the bond market finished in 2016 because it bottomed in 2016 and it's been breaking uh, trend lines uh, almost uh, almost monthly. So, you know, interest rates are heading up. So uh, as interest rates go up, of course, it's very, 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 very hard on, on bonds. And of course, as interest rates go up, it makes it very, very strong U.S. dollar. And a strong dollar being a reserve currency. This is what all the loans in the world are based on. And of course, you can see this in credit cards are going up. You can see this in uh, refinance. And of course, you know, we've talked about the fact that uh, the U.S. corporations have $4 trillion to refinance. And, of course, you start looking at emerging markets, why our corporations are dwarfed by the debt that they own. So it's time to really be cautious, and we want you to get you into a different asset class. Now, here I am in Maricopa County. I'm going to uh, toot my horn a little bit here. Here we are in Maricopa County, number one county in America. We have enormous job openings. We have enormous uh, demand for housing, so we can place some money and, uh, and maybe get it safer than what you would be in in the uh, stock and bond markets. And of course, it's going to generate an income. And you know, here's the cool thing about it is that uh, we're raising rents, so you got income last year. Um, it's more than it was the year before, and this has gone on for four or five years. And of course, we just don't have enough housing here. So I'm, I'm pleading with you to maybe start thinking that you want to bring some of your assets and get them out of a, into a different asset class, get them out of stock and bond market. You also might start looking at, at the commodities. I'm here. I'll answer any questions I possibly can. We can brainstorm. Uh, you don't necessarily have to do business with me, but you're welcome to call me. You'd know, love to have your business. We'd love to have your business. But uh, if you just need to ask some questions, I'm more than happy to do that as well. So my very, very best to you, and God bless you. Bye-bye.